All right, we are back for another Howler for an Hour, and for starters today, we have Dune C. As somebody in the chat just said, a desert burp simulator. Yes, it's much better than a desert bus simulator. Oh my goodness, desert bus. What a mimetic and annoying game. Anyways, this looked really neat. Kind of had a cool aesthetic going on. It was like bird game in desert. Okay. Look, it's just kind of an interesting mix of topics. So let's see how this goes. So what's in the extras? Intro scene. Let's do the intro scene. What do we got? Look, it's birds. I was right. <laughs> Hopefully the volume is good. This game goes for the... Oh, Night Meteor. This game goes for that kind of uh, poly poly simple polygonal style that I've seen before in games. Oh. That's not, oh, that's not what I expected to happen in the intro cinematic of this game. Duck. I think it's a duck. Is that a duck? Alright. So why, why did a fucking meteor hit? Oh, well, okay. When I hit new game, it does the intro. I thought the intro was going to be something we missed. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start up. All right, so here we are. Uh, stick and Rick trigger. Okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, we had a slight concussion. Don't worry, we have to get used to things. It's fine. Let's see, do I have to like flap? Flap, 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 flap. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Let's look at that. Let's, let's, let's pay a little more attention. Well, it suggests. I don't know what it. Right trigger, analog stick. Okay. If that's all I have to do, then let me keep playing. With, okay, maybe. Nope. Hold the trigger, then aim around. Um, well, actually, both the analog stick and the trigger immediately make me jump off the ledge. Let me try... Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand. Red trigger does make you fly. Okay, now I understand how the controls work. All right, well, it's not so bad now. Basically, I have to hold right trigger to flap, and then control, control, hold the control stick in the direction I want to go. And the bird is a little slow, because it's a bird. It's understandable. Bird's a little slow, so you have to kind of wait a second for it to actually respond. Is that like a red target? What's that? Can I get that? Oh, it's a cactus, so it's like a fruit. Can I, can I get that fruit? Oop. Can I can I fruit up? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. Can I fly? Oop. We fruit it up. It is a little bit hard to control, but not too bad. And it's understandable, mind. I'm not bothered by this. It's a fucking we're being a bird. Come on, it's fine. Happens. Birds are. Have you ever have you ever controlled a bird? It's hard. <laughs> hey, look, it's bunnies. Hi, bunnies. Hello, bunnies. I'm carnivorous today. Okay, I can't get the bunny. Rookie. You say that, but I I will get all the I will get all the goodies. Why are there floating rocks, actually? Just realized that. Oh. I'm not sure if I need to collect all these things, but. They're mine. They're mine now. Let's go up high. What's up here? Besides floating rock, I mean. B. Okay. I don't trust hitting things, but okay. For fuck's sake. <laughs> exactly what I said. I was like pressing B, holding B. I was kind of doing both. Kind of mixing it up. I was like, I don't know which 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 of these things you more want, but you know. I'll do both. And neither worked. Does it want me to hold? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. You just... Wait, what? It's easier than it seems, actually. I guess you do just hold it, but you don't. Here's a trick. If you're pressing around on the control stick, I don't think it works. You just gotta kinda let things go, and then hold, and then press B, and hold it, or press it. I'm not sure if it's press or hold still, but. It's one of those two. Say land. Oh, can I, like, recover? I bet I can recover stamina doing that, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, you can. All right, so. This is pretty chill. So I have the whole colliding and dying thing. But it's pretty chill otherwise. Well, how am I gonna get that? It's quite literally in the sand. Maybe I'll come out the other side. I want it. Oh, is that it? That is it. Oh, okay. Kind of looking around a bit. Yeah, they, they like to phase into the, into the... Okay, well, I'm just not going to get that one, I think. That's right. Keep going. I don't think we need to get them all or whatever. They're not really collectibles. I think they just recover your stamina. Which is fine. We'll get the ones we can get. So, forward with force. I do want fruit though, cause food. Got both of them. Nice. Oh, thank you for the follow. Not sure who just followed, but thank you. This is a good way to wake up. This is a chill game. Chill games are a good way to wake up, and they're a good way to go to sleep. They're a good way to just kind of wind up or down. Whoa. What's down here? Ooh. That was a that was a U turn uh fruit grab. Special technique. Okay, that is not a rock in the background. <laughs> that it was for some reason. I thought it was like, oh that's another archway. I was like, no, that's not an archway. <laughs> that's not an archway. Turns out. Bonk. <laughs> like I thought it was one of those rocks, like that one. I do have to say, a little more uh, graphical conveyance would be nice. Maybe uh, have the rocks in the uh, in your direct way be a different, uh, a slightly different hue, like a darker brown or a brighter brown or something. That'd be a pretty good uh, graphical conveyance. Why is there just a leaf here? Hold on. A tame leaf. Oh, I can a tame leaf. Self-made cookies, you say. Actually, that's I'm like picking up like dandelions. I thought they were just like little things, but no, they're like, uh. Okay, this is safe to fly under. See, like, I, it's a little. Oh, shit! I have landed on the rock. I have been uppercut by rock. This is fine. Okay, barely can't fly that high. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's go up here. I guess the clouds are conveying that I should not do that. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going after the leaf. What is... Self-made cookies is an odd way to put it. Well, off we go. Our shadow is very odd, by the way. You guys notice that? Our shadow's like an arrow for some reason. True, the dry creek. Why are there stars? Is that indicating that I need to get stars? 
Actually, on that note. Huh. Okay. Alright. Oh, shit. I'm gonna look out for stars then, I guess. One up here? Whoop, can't fly that high. I think staying low is generally a good idea. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice the message. What? Are, I guess there's collectibles. That are actually collectibles and not just, you know. Yeah, you can't fly that high. You get forcibly pushed out if you do. Fair enough. Super seed achievement because I got enough. Oh, hi. Are you are you are you bad? I don't know. Wait a minute. I have a. Oh, that's right. I just remember. I have other moves. Let's see. Aha. I, I recruited. Recruited. I can recruited. Uh, I think it's a dove. Oh, that's not... what the fuck? Okay. Wasn't expecting a tentacle plant. Alright. Uh, hmm. Honk. Actually, yeah, I'm totally a goose. What is, I'm, not, I'm not a duck. It's a title Goose Game 2, guys. Stop flapping or I take off again. There we go. Or just a seagull. I think it's just a seagull, actually. <laughs> Alright. That doesn't apparently know how to land properly, that's right. <laughs> seagull just like planted itself into that rock. That was, a, that was interesting. I've got two. Times one. Okay. Oh, there's like... Alright. Alright. Mechanics are being introduced. <coughs> Take that, you! Oh, whoops. Uh, that was not... That was not a... That was not a cutscene where everything froze. That was actually... Like, still working at full speed, so I almost crashed. Up, <laughs> ah! Ow. No, seagulls. Do I keep them? Ah, oh, I lost the seagulls. No, I didn't. I have the seagulls. Good. I'm guessing I, the stars will be a little hard to miss, so just gotta look out for them. Seems like the leaves fill up the stamina meter more than the fruit, but the fruit still fills up the stamina meter more than the purple things. Kind of an odd organization. Did I lose a seagull? I feel like I lost a seagull. Oh, there he is. Given the choice, oh, what's that? Wait, no, 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 
I'm just trusting the game to not, like, put the star too high or low for me to see. I'm kind of tempted. I didn't actually test this, but if I go to the tentacle plant, does it just eat me? I'm gonna test on this one because this one's gonna die in a minute. Chill game. Aside for the, you know, tentacle plants. Otherwise, chill game. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Can I just, like, land anywhere I want? I mean, yeah, but if you just land on the sand, you, you, don't, you do recover stamina, but it's not very quick. Gotta land on designated flat spots. Like this. So these seagulls don't always know how to, like... <laughs> Look at that one single, like the other ones finally figured out how to properly roost, but that one's just like blep. Established the, cac the cacti fruits are always on cacti. Now those ones were just, ones were just floating for some reason, huh? Thwack. Sure, I'm glad these these golden rings give us temporary psychic abilities to murder evil plants. Good thing. <laughs> hmm, did I find the other star? But that's right. Also, I lost my seagulls. Hmm. What do we have here? Not sure that looks like a good thing. Probably isn't. I guess I should use the, uh... So I did discover we have it. Boost. Granted, boost does use a uh, fair bit of stamina, but. If our full up is down, we may as Ow. So the seagull just, just sits next to me, like, I guess you're dead. Temporary boost is temporary.
Actually, I uh, color me curious. Okay, you do get eaten. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, whoops. I guess dashing makes me dip a bit. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it does make you dip. It's worth remembering. How's everybody? Just soaking up the atmosphere. I don't have a lot to say over this game. I really don't. This, that's by no means a bad thing, it's just a fact. Oop, too low there. Bounce. Oop. Game is relaxed. Why don't I have a cr I have a crow now? A dove crow mix, huh? All right. I do have to say it feels like the game has long stretches of nothing going on. Could just be because it's early levels, but it does feel like the level is spread out a little too much. The levels, I should say, at this point. Kind of awkward place to regain good camera controls, but I get it may work. Um, game, I totally went through that. There we go. No stamina, so. Alright, we're just walking the desert now. Actually, you know what? Maybe we're not. Maybe we're flying? Wait, actually, what the hell? Puppo! Hi, Puppo. Dive bomb it. Hello. Oh no. I'm fine. It's fine. Actually, I'm not fine. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was fine, but I was not fine. Hmm. Well, I got a good reach. What can you do, though? I mean, I shouldn't. Honestly, if you don't boost, you'll probably be relatively okay. I don't need this cutscene, honk honk. Okay, I don't like how the bomb of these rings don't seem to work properly. It's not cool. It's not a cool game. If it's a big ring, I should be able to fly through any part of it. If you, if it's, oh my god! They, they just don't work sometimes.
Oh, I didn't even notice I missed this one. Whoops. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. Well, let's just let's just rest here. Or die. I got the achievement Goosebump. That that is such a terrible that's that that pun. Come on. <laughs> that pun. Again, I don't need the Gutsy. Well, I do like the overall uh, atmosphere of this game. There are parts of this that are getting a little frustrating, I'd say. Oh, of course, the checkpoint was just a little bit ahead of where I died. Naturally. Warfram. More like War Farm. I, when I, was, I just felt like I was grinding that game when I played it. I don't think I find it that enjoyable. It's not, certainly not the worst free to play game or anything, but. It's certainly not bad, it's just, I don't like the fact that you still have to be grindy in it. Oh, shit. Actually, wait. Go up. Sun glare makes it hard to see, but there is a path here, so why not? Ooh. <laughs> All the birds we haven't got hit. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be so funny if that plant gets me, though. You know, I like boosting, but it uses so much stamina for, for a small amount of gain that it's not really worth it. I really can't boost. I want to boost. I want to boost. I feel attempted to boost because there's these, like, right now, there's these long stretches. Where it's like, man, I just want to, there's nothing going on. I want to just boost. But I, if I do, then I run out of stamina. So, I guess not. I do like though if you if you just land like randomly. That you'll get a puppo. Puppo. Puppo's there to basically prevent you from from uh doing exactly that. Which is fair. So, a comet hit, and now we have floating rocks and evil plants. And psychic ring fl Superman 64 ring abilities, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure what happened here. But I'm pretty sure that was a magical comet. Do it. 
I don't even know what the stars are exactly for, but I did I did mention the flame rocks actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sandfall Basin. One star. Not worried about the star, especially since I don't actually understand if they do anything. I think they're just optional objectives. For the sake of optional objectives. Whoop. So about the music, it exists. It's it's nice for the chill vibe, but like, and it is changing from level to level. Well, that was weird. I had a kind of a weird landing there. But all right. But uh. Overall, it's it's not it's just kind of existing. It's fine if it it's fine if it wants to have one of these songs, like one of these chill songs. But when every stage is just a it's just a slight variation. That is a sand waterfall of the same chill song. What is so? Why is Corviknight in the? I think Corviknight is evil. We we need to be careful because Corviknight's in the background. Watch out. It literally kind of looks like Carp Knight. <laughs> Ooh, where's this rock going? I guess anywhere it wants to because it's a fucking rock. Alright, whoop, well, <laughs> My other bird got kind of like taken out by that. Good thing they're invincible. I like the sand waterfalls. Oh, you want to hear a terrible pun that I just came up with a moment ago? What do you call a what do you call a duck that gets elected for clergy? Bird of prey. You come here for the you've come here for the duck puns or the goose puns or the bird puns. That's what you got, that's what y'all come here for. A clergy is a is a you're ruining the joke, boys ass. Clergy is just a is a particular position in the Catholic Church. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's water in the background. It was a rare sight, that. So I got every star in the level by just getting the one star. I what that does. Hello, other crows. How are you doing today? They can't. They, I can't have them join me for some reason. I 
Oh, we left. We kind of lost the desert, actually. Well, at least briefly. It's looking a little bit more green. A little bit more. Ah. I don't think Poizaz appreciated my terrible pun. Well, didn't know that'd be moving up. Oh, well, okay. Didn't know that'd be moving up that fast. God, I don't even remember the last save point was. Oh, well. Let's uh, speed run back there. Okay, well, almost, almost crashed, but not quite. I have made much worse. Yeah, it's not my worst pun. I do, I do, I, I am proud of that one though. I, I, I found a topical joke. And I went with it. That's what you gotta do as a streamer. It's very tempting to want to boost into everything. Okay, this rock is not defeating me this time. Hello. Hi. What? Uh, okay. I shouldn't. I, yeah, that's fine. Stealing this. Ergon is stealing the switch. Technically, it's mine. I mean, I didn't say it wasn't yours. I just said you were stealing the switch. True. I guess. <laughs> Fortunately, we won't need the switch today, so. <laughs> Water. Yeah, maybe the problem with this game is just its pace. Uh oh. Oh, that's a rock. Okay. I kind of like it. I just feel like these levels are far too long. And again, I do have a boost. Okay, water is bad. <laughs> also, I, have a, I am now in a sandwich. Uh, that's a day. Well, hmm. Slade, so I don't know about that one. How did he use it? I didn't actually see the message. Oh, that's a rock. That's not. A, okay, I'm really mixing up foreground and background rocks sometimes. Also, that rock just wanted to kill me, I guess. Alright. Oh, I'm fine. I thought the water was bad. Maybe it's only bad if you're down low. No, I don't actually care about the stars. Hi, Corviknight. Is that like a dragon? It looks like a dragon. Harlem reference. I, I'd actually. You you blocked the term, right? Wait, did you block it or did you permit it? You blocked it, right? I, I agree. I think that's what I think that's one I agree with blocking is is better. That's not really a word I can see anybody. About the only time I've seen it used uh, innocently is like I think there's a crayon color. There used to be a crayon color named that. So that was a sign of the time sort of color. Whoop, whoop, my other, my other birds got hit by that. Uh, 
I, I, I didn't see how he was using it though. How was he refer- like, what was the use of the word? Is it something that I should- that he should get in trouble for? Or what did he do? Was it just kind of a... Just very odd. I didn't actually see the usage before you blocked it, so... A general neutral- what does that fucking mean? No trouble, okay. Well, if you think he's fine, then it's probably good. What's that mean? Like, oh, this Xbox 360 controller and it's fucking... Oh, whoops. I just scratched my arm. Like, you know, this fucking Xbox 360 controller I'm using, like, oh, so foul. It's got, like, the, you know, the left prong and the right prong. So fucking overly masculine. Like, yeah. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> You're right, I do collect power-ups as I die. That's good. You know, it's the last hurrah. Gotta get those last little final high score points. Oh, Hyper! Thank you, man. 14 months. Why am I still here? I'll tell you why you have a gender neutral controller. Because it sounds fucking good on paper. It sounds good on the fucking press release. You're gonna get some heart you're gonna get some unnecessarily focused uh, bad feminists, and I call I say bad feminists because I do not disagree with feminism. I just disagree with the extrem extremities of, of, of feminism. Oh no 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 at least there we go. Wow, I actually ran out of stamina, but it was fine. Agree with feminism? Totally disagree with the loudmouths in, in that in that in the community, in the worst part of the community. But anyways, that's that just sounds like something that will um, make the louder, overly more overly sensitive, just kind of dumb feminists uh, happy. While the actual true cool feminists probably don't give a shit. Because they're fucking reasonable people, but you know, th that's that's kind of what I'm guessing out of the situation. <laughs> Whoop. True, fem true feminism is just about equality. It's not about oh look, we made this fucking controller less triggering for some people. It's like that's not an issue. That is not an issue. There, that needs to be addressed. Oh. Wait, no, don't sit here, you're gonna die! The, the Kaiser drops. Uh. You wanna know the truth of why people latch onto non issues or insignificant little things and treat like a big deal? You guys wanna. You guys want to know why that happens so often? It's because people are too scared slash intimidated slash weak to consider approaching an actual real issue. A, something that's actually significant, something that actually matters. So they focus on the little things because those are far less scary to not only uh, talk about but also just like... Whoops, okay. <laughs> Less scary to talk about, and if somebody disagrees, it, it, it's not going to change your life. You know what I mean? You can be you can be mad and angry about this one thing, and the worst that's going to happen is that people just get annoyed at you. But it's not going to ruin your life. You're not actually standing up for something that matters. You're not actually putting anything you own or possess or any, you know you're not putting any of that at risk. It's a nice safe way to throw a fit. <laughs> Let's not get overly p political. I don't know. I don't... I, I, I'm actually... Uh, I'm not... I usually don't talk about these things in a political context. I talk about these things in a moral context. <laughs> As in, for instance, the idea of uh, extreme feminism. I, I don't like it on a moral level because I see people get hurt. 
because of these extremity of these extreme people. I don't care about the politics, guys. I don't care about the politics whatsoever. What the hell? What? Okay, I guess that's hurting me. The politics don't matter. Politics are just fucking terminology and groupings and it's, I'm about morals. <laughs> Yeah, it sounded like door slamming. I don't know what exactly was going on there. Oh, no, 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 don't you hear. I, I guess I'm mostly just disappointed that what I was talking about was termed as political. I feel like that's a misnomer. Even when I literally do talk about political subjects, it's more about the, like, I don't just, I don't agree with this particular person in, in politics because they're doing this thing that hurts people. Like, that's my, that's my usual approach on these sort of things. Like, how, do, how, how is this affecting people? How is this affecting the good of people? Like, like, that's, that's what I matter, that's what matters to me. I don't mind somebody making an unpopular decision if it doesn't hurt somebody. It doesn't bother me then. But, you know. And it's impossible not to hurt people sometimes because life is complicated. So some decisions are always going to affect somebody negatively. And that really blows when that happens, but it's the truth of life. But, generally speaking, it's like... You just, at the best, you minimize the damage. <clears throat> and the damage you absolutely inevitably have to do sometimes you, you try to find a way to make up for it like that's that's what moral that's what moral standpoints is I feel like that's how I feel about these sort of things it's impossible to make everyone happy even in my streams, even in my Discord channel, on my YouTube. There are some people I just need to ignore because they don't add a lot. Wow, I didn't die. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Uh, the, just There's just situations where it's like, well, this sucks, but it's also really not something I have the time or energy to get into. So I can wish them the best on dealing with it, but I can't always help everyone. That's very... It's a very obvious statement, but it's something that's hard to grasp one's head around. Those people who like to help can easily overdo it. Having a good nature is great, but you gotta you gotta make sure you temper that. Make sure it's critical. Make sure you are expending your, like make sure you are doling your time out correctly. Actually, of all the, uh, of all the loudmouths in the world. You know, I, I was gonna say Corviknight's evil, but Corviknight doesn't give a shit about me. It doesn't seem like Corviknight's really that big a deal in this game. He's just kinda hanging out. But, um, it's, it's really easy to feel bad about caring about yourself. Which is a bit of a shame, but it's just kinda the truth. Ow. <laughs> that fucking rock. That fucking random rock. Alright, uh, it, it, there's so many people out there. You know, extreme people. You know, not just not just the feminism point or from earlier, but just extreme people in general. They're kind of a fact of life. The sad truth is that the loud majority, the loud minority, is much more noticeable than the reasonable minor, minority or majority. I'm really bungled at the table. Let me try that again. The loud minority is much easier to notice than the reasonable majority. Because I do think that overall. I don't think the entire fucking, like, majority of population is, is terrible. I think most people, the worst thing that most people, I think the majority of people, the biggest failure that the majority has generally is not speaking up for things that they need to. But as far as, like, actually doing bad things, I don't think the majority of people really do bad things. It's more just the the main problem is that they're enabling. They're not they're not fighting against the people who are doing bad things. So there's a lot there's a lot of people that are willing just to be bystanders and not affect the situation. 
And that could be a problem. But it's not as big a problem as causing a problem. Of course, even when you try to help, you have to do it right. If you if you don't if you're trying to help certain people over others, if you're prioritizing people and not not considering how you can help everyone, or at least more than more more than one person, well, that's also bad. That typically gets you on a side, and that's the thing, sides. Let's talk sides for a second. You know, this could be political, but it can also be just anything. When you get when you take a side. You're essentially putting your foot down a lot of times on that side. Now, there's some things that it's good to put a foot down, but mo for most things, for most things in life, it is not that vital to stick to one side. And I don't mean waffle and be wishy-washy. I'm not saying that. Make sure you have a def define your opinions, sure. But when it comes down to it, like, be willing to be flexible. People are, people are so, ooh, flame geysers, I don't like the looks of that. I'm just gonna wait. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I just feel like talking about this. I'm not like ranting per, per se, it's just, this game doesn't have a lot going on. So it's a good time to talk about random subjects, so I'm gonna talk about this. Most of it's going over your head? Really? I don't think it's that complicated. Ultimately, what I'm talking about is just... What I'm talking about is that don't be overly stubborn. Try to be flexible, even if you're on, even if you're staunchly on one side of an issue. Try to try to talk to the talk to the other side and see what they see how they think. This is always useful to know. It's always useful to know the other side of a situation. Even if you don't agree with it. By not by knowing you can understand more, and understanding is something that is severely lacking in today's society. People are usually content to stay on one side, stay on one opinion, stay on one thought pattern. And not try to understand something that they don't already. After all, it's safe. It's a safe thing to do to just understand one point of view. It doesn't require extra effort. It's a lot easier to be one side. It's a lot easier to operate off of extremes too. Like, say you like, you know, just keep it nice and simple here. Say you like one video game console. Also, there are giant rocks in the background. Oh boy. Say you like one video game console and you know the the company that owns it and their you know their, their way their business practices and stuff. But you absolutely hate another console and how they do their business practices and stuff. Um. So then you you get into arguments with people. It's like, yeah, I prefer the Switch. And fuck. You know, Google, or, well, fuck Google, well, yeah, fuck, fuck Google is kind of a decent blanket statement, but, uh, you know, like, I like Switch, I like Nintendo, I don't like Sony, I don't like the PS4, whatever, so like that. Uh, okay, these fucking rings don't work sometimes, like, seriously. Please. I flew right through, what is wrong with these rings? Oh, wait, hold on, let me go back. Did I miss the last one? I probably did. There it is. I didn't even see that one. Achievement unlock double back. Yeah, I wonder why I have to double back. Alright. Fortunately, nowadays, by associating with taking the other side, it seems the worst thing. Well, here's the thing, like, I'm- uh, here's another re here- if you want to know why I'm talking about this, recent thing. You guys know I made a video. I don't normally make opinion pieces on other people's videos. Because, generally speaking, as I say, it's- it's- it's nice to understand the other side, so I don't really- I, I'm usually not upset to hear about an art opinion that is not that goes against my own opinion. I'm usually fine about hearing it. But the video I made an opinion piece on, I had no problem with the guy's opinion. It, it was against Pokemon Sword. And I had no I'm not going to get into the whole Pokemon Sword thing right now. Uh in in death, but the, the that's not the point here. The point of this uh this 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 is that basically he his opinion was not what I had a problem with. He can feel free to not like Sword. The problem I had was that he was essentially manipulating his audience with that opinion that he has. And that's a very quick summary. You can watch my whole review on that video if you want to know more. But he, he was basically manipulating his audience. 
And that goes against my own moral standpoints of, hey, don't fuck around. You know, you got all these people watching you, they're interested in you. They want to see what you do. Don't fucking abuse that. Respect those people. Anyways. That was one situation where, like, I wasn't even... I, that is not... That doesn't even factor into his opinion. His opinion is fine. He can have his opinion. And he can have people agreeing with his opinion. But I mean, the manipulation factor... See, that's the thing. It's okay to have this opinion or that opinion. It's okay to disagree. That's all good and fine in most issues. The problem is that most people will weaponize. Most people will take it further than that. They will try to... They will try to forcibly push people away from an opinion they disagree, you know. If they disagree with your opinion, they'll be like, hey, I'm gonna try to, like, batter you, I'm gonna attack you, I'm gonna manipulate you to try to change your opinion. Like, that's what a lot of people do. And that's not cool. Um... Another thing that seems unfortunately too commonplace is just wearing the other side and grouping them up. That's where I was actually going. My point, sorry, I got a little, I got a little tangential there. But another thing about my video that I made is that I got some commenters that, well, this just makes me sad. It doesn't really, ups it doesn't piss me off. It just makes me sad. Basically, because I went in and I talked about, you know, this guy's video, and this guy doesn't like sword and shield. Okay, so I talk about his opinion. I talk about how he's kind of manipulating his viewers and stuff. And that was my whole point, that was my issue. But then I get commenters, I get some negative commenters to my video, going, that immediately thought this way. They saw me arguing against a guy who made a video talking about how he didn't like Pokemon Sword. And their immediate response was, oh, well, if this guy's, if this guy is arguing, if, if this guy doesn't agree with this guy, uh, if this guy's making a, a video against this guy's video, that must mean that Charum is super pro Sword and Shield, like, super pro, like, n forgives everything Nathan does, has no problems with Sword and Shield, fucking loves it to death, will defend it, absolutely. So basically, these people saw me going, like, I don't agree with this guy's uh, extreme opinion and the way he's manipulating people, and they went, oh, you must have the other side, uh, you must have the extreme on the other side, then. And it's like, no, you, no, you fucking dimwit, there's something called moderate stance. But it's really sad. Because people don't understand moderate stances a lot of times these days. They, if they see you disagreeing with a point, if they see you disagreeing with a side, they must they assume you're extremely on the other that you're completely on the other side. That's not always true. And I really it's it's very saddening to see people su assume I'm on the other extreme because I'm not on one extreme. <laughs> it's 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 really sad that that's the culture we live in. Moderacy is something that isn't something that even comes to some people's mind. And that makes me exceptionally just... I don't know, man. That's depressing. Like, that's more depressing than any, any sort of, like, feelings about one side or another on something. Well, Hyper will say that I am not letting your opinion affect my enjoyment. That being said, right now, I, I, I for those for those curious, because I'm sure some people are now. I, I think I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm having a good enough time with Sword, though. I do have to say, I should never. I, I mean, I'm glad that I'm trying to shiny hunt this Galarian Zigzagoon because he's fucking adorable. But also, this is the first time I've ever shiny hunted. Also, this is going to be the last time I ever shiny hunt because, God damn it. I have spent about, I would say I spent about 20 hours, so that's probably a conservative estimate. 20 hours total in trying to shiny hunt this thing. Yeah, shiny hunting is fucking stupid. It, and this isn't even a, a complaint against sword, this is just a complaint against shiny hunting. It's stupid. I, I don't agree with it. If you guys enjoy it, if somebody else enjoys it, that's cool. Uh, I don't, I don't, yeah. Uh, uh, for a while I was, I didn't mind it, but then after a while, after a number of hours, it started to kind of crawl up in me. Like, uh, you know what, this is not fun. And you guys know what I think. You guys know what I feel about uh, playing a game and not having fun. There's no point in playing a game and not having fun. If you don't have fun with a game, you shouldn't play it. That's my general attitude. Now, I really do want that six again, so I feel like it's going to be worth the effort at the end. But I'm never going to do Shiny Hunting again after this. Like, seriously. I have I have learned my... Like, this is the first time I ever did it, so it was worth trying. It's worth experimenting. I've never done this before. Oh, you know what? Fuck this ring. I don't even care. Do I need this ring? 
I must have... These rings, dudes. I must have missed a ring at some point. That's what, That's whatever. I, I mean, I, mean I, I really envy the people who have apparently stumbled upon Shinies while playing Pokemon games, because I've never had that happen. That has never happened to me. That's, I got fucking owned. At least I'm in the water. <laughs> Alright, let's beat this level, and we'll switch games. So by the way, this game, by the way, the um, it's not usually a good sign if I start talking about other topics while playing a game, especially for Haller. For Haller for an hour, I tend to try to focus on the game that I'm playing and talk about it. Problem is that uh, this game is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's just really nothing to talk about with this game. It is, in my opinion, too slow paced. And also, in my opinion, there's not a, it's not even that, it's just too slow paced in the sense that everything, it feels like, you know what, I can do this comparison. Take a really cool Sonic level, right? Take a really good Sonic level that's enjoyable, and you play it, it's fun, it, everything goes through uh, nicely, and there's always something going on, and a nice fast pace. Now take a, now take that Sonic level, and imagine if there are multiple stretches of absolutely nothing going on, like the level was expanded, like you take, have the exact same layout, but every at different points of that layout, you just stretch it out and you put nothing there, it's just like empty space. And you're just rolling along and nothing's happening. That. That is what this feels like. This feels like there's some good design here. There's some, like the level design is fine. There's some fun things going on, but then there's just these giant stretches where nothing's going on and it's not fun. And because I have a stamina meter, I can't even just do, do this. Like I want to boost, I want to endlessly boost through these sections. But look what has, ha look what has happened to my stamina meter but for doing that. So that's, that's not a thing I can do. That's fine. Dog's uh, down there. Oh wow, I'm staring at nothing. My sure shiny was in the Soul Silver Safari Zone. Oh, see shiny Pokemon because I done fucked up Sylvia to me. That's fine. Dog's down there. I'm up here. Oh, I'm good. Fuck you, dog. You can't get me. I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna strut. Screw you, dog. Um. Plus, I'm, I'm solid snaking it now. You can't even see me. Oh, that was the end of the level. Wait, what happens if I just walk the end of the level? That would, I wonder if I would just be forced to fly. My phone randomly is reset, then agreed. Uh, the shy hoodie thinks too much effort. Like, it's kind of cool. I think I broke the, I may have broken the level. Did I, I did. Paraglide. I think I broke the level. I think the level is supposed to end there. All right, hold on. Where are we going with this? Now I'm kind of curious. Okay. I flew, <laughs> flew past the, I flew past the level end. All right, wait. Let's just let's just let it play out. I'm kind of curious. I think I've, I, you know what I feel about boundary breaking. Namely, that if I can do it, I will do it. So, uh, also, what happens if I run out of stamina while doing this? Let's see. I can't fly in any direction, by the way. He's auto-flying at this point. Let's run out of stamina and see if he falls. Nope. There it is. There's the edge of the world. As I figured. Well... <laughs> so that was Dune C. Like I said, it's not bad. I like the atmosphere. I like the concept. The level, like the level is the levels are fine, but the game's just far too slow paced. While there's decent little obstacle sections, there's a lot of stretches of nothing. I feel as if that's to set the mood and to have a slower pace. But there's not enough going on, and it just ends up feeling kind of boring. There's not anything visually to look at, really, besides the general landscape uh, while, while it's going on in, in these stretches. So, 
Ultimately, it feels like a lot of the gameplay is just flying through nothing. Which I suppose is a fair enough and appropriate moniker to end off considering we are now flying in nothing. Quite literally. That was Dune C. 